What's up, my fellow Fix-It employees? Welcome back to another episode of How to Satisfactory, my guide and walkthrough through the game, showing you everything in detail about building an efficient factory from the time you land on the planet to, oh, I don't know, probably around nuclear, maybe somewhere thereafter. Don't really know how far we're going to get yet, but let's go ahead and get started with today's lesson. Now, in the last episode, we built this pretty awesome, if I do say so myself, trucking depot right here. And we've got all of our plastic and rubber coming over from our oil refineries all the way over here via truck. And uh, one lonely little truck, actually. That's all we have working right now. But you know what? doesn't matter. He's doing an awesome job all by himself. Every single one of my, uh, my storage containers over here are actually full. So, yeah, he's, he's been doing pretty good all by himself. Uh, now, in this episode, my intention was to start the process of building the manufacturing plant, which is going to go right around in this area somewhere, and it's going to connect to our main factory, but it is going to be its own separate thing. Um, however, I learned, really, Jeffrey, you're just going to walk right over me as I'm talking here? Anyway, in the process of building that and trying to figure everything out and how I was going to do it, I realized pretty quick that we are going to need a lot more power than what we're actually producing because I kept running out of power. So what we're gonna do today, instead of starting on a manufacturing plant like I intended, I'm gonna do a little bit of a shorter episode and we're going to fix our power issues. But before we do that, let's head back over to our main hub. So since I don't believe that this episode is going to be that long, I thought I would take the opportunity to go into another lesson real quick here. So what we're going to do is head over here to our hub terminal. We're going to go into here and we're going to go into tier 5. And we're going to take a look at the gas mask. Now the gas mask is a handy dandy utility that basically allows us to breathe in those deadly gases. You know, it's pretty much in the name. So what we're going to need is we're going to need some rubber, some plastic, both we have. And we're going to need fabric but we haven't actually started making fabric yet so let's go ahead and select this as our milestone and i myself haven't figured out the uh the pattern yet for fabric so i'm going to go in here to our ma'am and it is under mycelia so if we go down here under mycelia you should see it right here right there fabric as you can see i haven't learned it yet you may have already you've probably gone through a lot of stuff in your ma'am but uh i haven't so we're gonna go ahead click on that and oh I can't afford it it's because I need 25 mycelia and a hundred biomass now I have both of those just handy actually right here in my container so I'm gonna grab all of that mycelia that I have and about two stacks of biomass because I'm gonna be needing some of that and we're gonna you know what actually before I do this I should probably show you guys this in case you don't actually have any mycelia. Let me show you where you can find some. Let's head all the way down to the base deck. So we're just going to head all the way down to the bottom floor. And then out to the door over here. And we're going to go around our main factory over here to our cave. Because there is a little cave right over in here. And right there it is. So you can just kind of come right over in here. And there's going to be some mycelia right down in here. So you can just kind of come down in here and get it. Now there are spiders down in here. So you may want to get out your whacking stick and just be careful. So there's a couple of these guys down in here. Now maybe you're playing with uh, hostiles off. I do not. I kind of like the challenge of it. So I'm going to come out spiders. I know you're in here. Where are you at? All right, so this is really weird. I can hear them skitter scattering around, so I know they're in here, but they're not coming anywhere near me, so I think they're stuck in a wall or something, so they're kind of glitched out at the moment. But yeah, just keep in mind, there are some spiders in here, and if you have hostiles turned on, you may want to watch out for that. But, and we also have bats in here too. That, that, that's kind of new. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so used to, you could come in here, and there used to be mycelia just kind of laying on the floor that you could just pick up. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So now we actually can only get it by chainsaw. Now I don't know if every cave has changed this way. Maybe I just came in here and picked it all up already. I don't remember. I think it should still be here though after an update. But yeah. So what we're going to do is come over here to these blue things. And we're just going to use a chainsaw. We're going to cut those down. And now we have some mycelia. So you can find some mycelia in here. And it's usually in caves. Sometimes you can also find it out and about as well. But this is a great place to come if you need some. Let's head back to the hub. 
All right, back to the ma'am. So we have a mycelia, we have our biomass. Let's jump in here, go in here to the mycelia part, and there we go, fabric. So we'll just start the research on that. Doesn't take but a quick second, and bam, now we're done with that. Now we've unlocked a couple things here. We've unlocked, uh, right here, we can do another expanded tool belt, which gives you a plus hand equipment slot. That's pretty handy, but we're gonna need 50 fabric for that. And we're gonna need a lot more fabric right now for what we need coming up. So we need 50 fabric, 100 rubber, and 200 uh, plastic. Oh, no, sorry, 200 rubber, 100 plastic. All right, so let's see. Um, I've got that, I've got that. We're going to make our fabric. And let's see, if we come down here, should see it right there. I can make, uh, looks like about 55 of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that real quick. All right, all of that is now made. So we'll come back over here. I'll drop that in there. Now I just need the rubber and the plastic. So I will have to head all the way back over there to where we have it in storage. And I'm just gonna do that real quick and then blink right back over here. All right, now I've got the plastic, I've got the rubber, we got everything we need. Hit that big red button and boom. All right, so now that the gas mask is unlocked, the next thing we're gonna need is to make it. So let's head down to the bottom floor to our workshop, which is right down here. I don't know why I don't have a workshop up there too, but uh, it's just all the way down here. And I already have it on here. So you can see what we're gonna need to make it. A hundred rubber, a hundred plastic, and a hundred fabric. So you don't have to keep making the gas mask. The gas mask is a one-time thing, but you do need to make gas filters for it. I'll get into that in a moment. So uh, it's a little bit costly to make, but just like the Blade Runners, you pretty much only have to do it about one time and that's it. So let's head back up. We're going to need to make a lot more fabric for this. Got plenty of mycelia, but I am gonna need more biomass. So I'll grab a couple stacks of that, head back over here, and I'll just start crafting it real quick. Now. Some of you may think, well, I can just put down a constructor and just have the constructor making this while I'm doing something else. And that's completely fine if that's what you want to do. However, it makes 15 a minute and I can sit here and just, you know, craft it by hand a lot quicker than what the constructor will do. All right, a lot more fabric now. So we should have everything we need back down to the bottom and let's start crafting that gas mask. All right, we'll craft just one here real quick and done all right so next thing we're gonna need is gas filters you'll need fabric you'll need some rubber and you're going to need some coal so we're not too far from a coal i can just head right over here to where we are currently making all of our steel parts and i can just grab some coal out of these things here uh, there we go foundry and yeah, there we go steal some coal we won't mind back to the workshop and let's make 12 gas filters so the gas filters are what you have to keep making so as you are in the deadly clouds of gas uh, you will slowly start using gas filters there'll be a meter down here once you have the gas mask on and everything that will tell you how long you have and it will start going through there'll be like tell you how many filters you have and each time one uses then it will decrease in in how many you have well, it's, it's kind of obvious but anyway got 12 filters that should be enough for the time being but you can always make more if you want and we're going to head into our inventory we're going to take the gas mask and we're going to put it in our head slot and i gotta tell you guys i really love the fact that now we have the opportunity where we can wear multiple things so we can have the blade runners a gas mask a jet pack it's just really 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 nice even a hazmat suit as well so everything is really nice to have all that in one instead of just having to choose just one thing like it used to be uh, you do not have to equip the gas filters they're just in your inventory now you can also see down here on the left hand side down here you'll see you have the xeno basher the blade runners and you have the gas mask right there and you see the filters 12 right above that so now that we have that gas mask equipped we're going to use it real quick so let's head out of our base here our factory so i'm going to head this way out all right so here we can see our nobulous factory now there is actually a cave system right underneath of here and there's two ways to get in one of them is right here. If you kind of go right over here, you can kind of drop down in there. That will take you down into it. So that's one way to go. But we're going to head over here and just kind of start heading west past where we're mining the iron right there. Just keep going. 
And we should see there, I think there's another iron node right down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then just keep heading this way. And we're going to come over here to these cliff systems right here. Yeah, this should be it. So if we head down here, you can see the gas over there. And then right here is going to be the entrance to this cave system. So we're going to go down in here. Now, there are a lot of spiders down in here. I mean, a lot of them. So be careful and just watch yourself. Take it slow so you don't get overwhelmed by a bunch of them at once. These things are fast and they do a lot of damage. There's our first one right there, so. Only takes a couple of hits. These are the smaller ones that I don't know if there's, I think there might be some bigger ones in here. There's another one right there. Now you're probably wondering, why are we coming down in here? Well, there is a, this place was kind of inaccessible before. You could get down in here, but you would die of the gas. So now that we have the gas mask, this is a play, great place to get down in here and get a ton of blue slugs. There's so many blue slugs down here. You're, you guys are going to be really surprised when you see them all. So we're just going to make our way through the caverns, killing any of the little skitter scatters as we see them. All right, so as I come upon it, I can see here now there is mycelia in this K that you can just pick up right off the ground without needing the uh, the chainsaw at all. So maybe I've already just picked it all up in that cave, or maybe they just changed that one cave. Anyway, it's always good to have mycelia, so I'll grab a bunch of this as we're down here. And as you get deeper into the cave, you will see the first signs of the gas. So as I step into the gas, though, you will see that it doesn't affect me at all. There we go. So your vision will sort of change. It'll get it kind of a little blurry. And I guess it's like a force field thing that comes up over your face or something. Not 100% sure. But you can see there that uh, you have an air meter on the side over there. And as that decreases, it will use those air filters. So we have 11 right now at the moment. We're all right. So we're going to go deeper into the caverns. And into this chamber here, well, you will then see so many blue slugs up here. Look at all the blue slugs. Look at this. There's like one, two, three. There's like six of them down in here. I've already counted, so. All you got to do at this point is just start picking them up and make sure you have the space for it. All right, there's our first one. Uh, let's see. We should be able to jump down here, come over here, and then we got to kill this one up here. There we go. Another skitter down. And then, let's see, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. So, hopefully you brought some concrete with you because the best way to get these things is by using, just making your own bridges and stuff too. That's, that's a great way to do it. I'm just going to hop over here to this one. Oh, got knocked off. That's fine. Some of them you can just kind of climb around and get. Like this one here, I should be able to get close enough to just pick it up. No? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, we'll grab this one. And then uh, the other ones, the other ones we are going to need to make ramps for. Not a problem, not a problem at all. All right, and then just pick up our blue slugs. All right, check in my inventory. I have six blue slugs. That is all of them in here. Next, all I have to do is now just delete the things I made, or you can leave them if you want, but I like to have my concrete back because you never know when I'm going to need it. So I'm going to take that, and then we're going to head out the way we came in. So there's only one way in. Uh, well, I guess there's technically two ways out. You don't have to worry about taking off your gas mask. You can just keep it on. It will only start being used and use the air when you're in an area where you need it. So that's pretty handy. All right, once you're back out in daylight, just head back over to the main factory and we're going to turn these blue slugs into power shards. Now, the reason we went down in there is A, so I could show you how the gas mask works and B, so that we could retrieve all those power slugs because we're going to need, for the next couple of episodes, a ton of power shards. So whenever you see slugs, grab those slugs. You're going to need them in the future. Just trust me, we're gonna need a lot. All right, so now that I've got that short little lesson out of the way about the gas mask, the next thing we're gonna do is the main part of this episode, and that is going to be expanding our coal power so that we could produce a lot more power in order to make the expansion into manufacturing because manufacturers use a lot of power not only that you're going to need a lot of assemblers and stuff to make the other stuff you need for the manufacturer 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some new pipe work. We're going to be adding some new water extractors and we're going to be adding a few new cogeners. So make sure you get all the parts you're going to need for that. So if you need to just go in and you can go in here and just look at like say water extractors, see what you need for that. Rotors, copper sheeting, reinforced plates. Uh, and then of course the same thing for your co-generators uh, you're going to need like more again more rotors a more cable I'm a little low on cable and rotors so I'll probably grab a couple stacks of that and something else we're going to get into today is going to be power storage we haven't really touched on this yet but you have these giant batteries you can place down which store power and those are really handy so we're going to be doing some of those which you'll need uh, copper wire you're going to need some modular frames and you're going to need some stators and we're also going to need one of these power switches so make sure you have some caterium wire and some steel beams and it looks like that's an ai circuit so yep make sure you have all of that so just one more thing i wanted to do before we head over to the co-generators is i wanted to talk a little bit about the tickets and the shop real quick so let's go ahead i'm sure at this point you guys have a ton of tickets i've got 32 right now that's a lot of tickets so we could easily buy a lot more stuff. And since we're heading back over to work on the co-generators one more time, I thought it would be a good chance to grab some customizing stuff and that way we can kind of, you know, work on the power plant. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to customize your power plant the way you want. I pr prefer to try to give you guys some creativity and let you guys fix it how you want for the most part as far as how it looks and everything. Um, I am just going to grab some things that I think are going to look good. So for one, I'm going to grab these street lights. I think that would be good. So I'm going to grab that. And let's see, light control panels. Don't need anything else on there. Um, if you guys want, you can do indoor lighting. If you want to like put your entire coal plant inside of a building, uh, you can do floodlights. Uh, if you go into management over here, uh, you can do clean pipelines now. This is something that was added in the last update. Um, so that's kind of cool. If you don't like you know, seeing uh, the different pumps and stuff going through like the ridges that are on the pipes, you can just make them completely clean. Uh, you can do extra wall powers and stuff here. So I'm not going to mess with anything like that. I like being able to see the flow of the water. Uh, you can grab all of these, these double ramp sets, these uh, half foundations. In fact, half foundations are a great thing to get. I'm going to go ahead and get those right now. may not use them, but I'm going to grab them anyway. Under walls, I'm going to go ahead and grab these conveyor walls. Uh, I don't think I need them, but I'm going to grab them anyway. Uh, gates, different kinds of windows, uh, door walls. We, I can't believe we've never gotten the door walls before. Let's go ahead and get those two. And architecture here. So this is something I definitely want to grab. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the corner roofs. Uh, let's see here. I want to grab these concrete pillars. Definitely want to do that. And let's see, anything else here? Uh, I want to grab the metal pillars as well. And I think that's it under this right now. Uh, these road barriers are awesome pieces. Uh, very useful for a lot of things. Might as well add those in there. And under customizer, you can also get different kinds of, uh, let's see, I can get concrete walls. So yeah, we'll do that. And let's see here, what else? Uh, different kinds of roofs. So I've already got the glass roofs. So you can get steel roofs, you can get tar roofs. So if you are going to do an indoor co-generator plant and you wanna put a roof on it, you can do different kinds of roofs here. So feel free to choose whatever you want here. I'm not gonna grab any of those. Uh, the grip metal foundation materials is good. Coated concrete is pretty awesome. We have access to that now that we are making plastic and rubber. So pretty cool stuff. That's all I need. Let's go ahead and check out. That's gonna take 24 tickets for everything I bought. All right, now, now let's head over to the coal power plant. All right, there she is in all of her glory, our hardworking coal generator power plant, outputting about a little over a thousand megawatts, if I do the math correctly, I believe. We got seven on each side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add four more coal generators. We're going to add two more water extractors. We're gonna add some power storage and we're gonna redo the pipes. So let's get to it. 
So as I said earlier, one of the main reasons that we are going to be working on power today for this episode is because for the manufacturing process, we're going to need a lot more power than what we are actually producing. Um, we could add fuel generators to it, which would be adding even more power and fix up the oil and everything. But by doing that, we can't until we get the heavy modules, the heavy frames, and then we're also going to need computers. So we have to be able to get those started making and before we can even unlock that. I mean, yeah, you could make them by hand, but that's just a lot of work, and I'd much rather do it by, you know, automatically. That's the name of the game. Another reason is because, and a few people have noticed this and caught it out in the comments, is that if we take a look at this last coal generator down here, you'll see it's just not getting enough water. That's because I kind of messed up on the pipes and we added maybe too many down through here. Um, but yeah, so these two are just constantly cutting off and not producing the power they need to. So that's why we're going to redo the pipes and add a few things today. But the first thing we're going to do is going to add some storage for our power. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to grab one of these foundations. We're going to extend this out just like this. Then we're going to add another layer on top of that with a one meter because apparently I was using two meter there. So we'll do a one meter on top of that. And then we're going to extend that out one more time, just like that. So you should have coming up one from right here on this edge and then coming out two. So it's about two by three and that should do the trick. Now that we have our little two by three base right here, we are going to then grab and power our power storage and I want to be able to see the top of this real quick I want to be able to see where the input for our electricity is so as you can see it's right there on the top it's facing us that's what we want we're gonna come right here into the middle of this one I'm gonna place it right in the middle of this foundation block right there I'm gonna place another one right next to it over here not here but literally right next to it and another one right next over here. We're going to leave a little bit of space right here on this side. And I think that's going to make it look best. So then I'm going to turn this one so that the electricity is facing inward right there. And I'm going to come down here to the middle again. Place our first one there. And just like we did the other side, place another one. And another one. There we go. Okay. So now we have our battery storage there. Uh, we'll hook this up momentarily. I want to then do a power switch. So I'm going to place the power switch facing us. As you can see, there's a switch like right on the front of that. If you turn it around, there's like a power box on the back but right there. And we want to place that right in the middle where the ramp meets the blocks right there. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and place, let's see here. I want to do architecture and... I am going to do a small metal pillar right here. You can do concrete if you want. Place it right up against it. Uh, kind of like right here, actually, I think is where I want this. Yeah. I'll make sure it's right in the middle. Yeah, perfect. Right there. And then another one. And another one. And let's see. Do I want to keep this this way? I'll decide that in a moment. All right. So right now, though, I'm going to then go in. We're going to do some beams. Beams, 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 beams under architecture. Where are the beams? Uh, there they are, painted beams. All right, I'm gonna take these beams, put them right up against the edge right there, place them up to right about there. Same thing here. Okay, and yeah, then these other ones, I can take these and go all the way up. Maybe one more doesn't look good there I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna bring this one more up right there on top and then we'll take these and bring those up actually we won't even bother with the front well we have to actually uh, right there that's perfect and then yeah bring that up to about the same height and come back here to the back do the same thing and connect that up to that. Now, if I'm lucky, everything is on the same platform there. Okay. If I come around to the back, I can then, I think, place a ladder down here. So, yeah. Place a ladder going up on top of that. <laughs> Even better. And then climb up on top of here. Perfect. All right. Now, let's go ahead 
go into our power outlet and find the wall outlets right there and I want to place this like right in the middle there and right in the middle here it's a little tricky sometimes there we go got it all right so now that's placed in the middle there and then I'm gonna place one more like right in the front I could do it here in fact I will all right so I'm just gonna connect this to this there we go and let's drop back down here now we no longer need the power coming off of this here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I'm gonna bring the power coming from that middle power outlet down to here and then over there we go so that connects that back up so once the power switch is enabled it will send the power to our main factory over there this is just a good way to cut things off if something was to happen while we're working on these power storage and everything uh, we're going to have to turn some code generators off so yeah this just uh, this helps us to keep things going basically next let's delete the two painted beams in the front that we created so get rid of that and get rid of that also get rid of the bottom metal pillar and then we're going to connect a power line to right on the edge and right on the edge of that there we go and then we'll connect this to that top one we'll connect this side up to that one grab our metal beams and we should just be able to get those right back up to the top where we had them there we go all right and then our last but not least let's put our metal pillar back in there okay and then we just have to connect the power from all of this into our power storage so uh, for the time being we're gonna go ahead and connect this right here up to that so I'm gonna go back here to the top now and we'll go ahead and delete this ladder because I'm actually gonna place the ladder down on this side instead but what I'm going to do now is let's go into architecture. I'm going to grab, let's see, do I have the frame? Yeah, small frame pillars. And what I want to do is if I drop off here, I should be able to place that. Yeah, perfect. Right there. And then if I turn that into a zoop, I can just run this across like that. That's what I want right there. I'm going to go ahead and put our ladder back on top of that concrete pillar right there. All right, now what I can do is let's run this from there to this right here in the middle. All right, and then I'm gonna start with this one over here on this side. We're gonna connect a power line to that, to the next one, from that one to the next one, from there over to this side. Connect that over to here, there over to here. Then I can run that to right there in the middle and then run that straight up to that. There we go. Now, let's talk about power storage now that it's all connected up. Now you can see they are charging. You see the meters on the side here. So if we take a look at these, you'll see time until it's fully charged is one hour. Stored charge, so each of these storage containers can hold about 100 megawatts per hour. Uh, and then you can see over here the percentage and everything and this is about well, how long it's going to take until it's fully charged and all of these will be charging at the exact same time so yeah so let me try to explain a little bit about why we're using these so we're producing more power right now than what we are actually using so that extra power is going to go into these batteries these giant battery storages and then at some point in the future, if one of our machines was to start using more power than what we're producing, it will take from these battery storage instead. That way it doesn't cut the circuit off like right away. So these are really handy to have. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do pretty much about the same thing we did over here on the other side. So let's head over here. Again, let's go ahead and bring our foundations out Make sure you put the one meter on top. All right, there we go. And then well, I can just copy a battery, bring it over here. Uh, we wanna make sure that we have it right though. So again, let's make sure that our battery is turned the right way. Right there, that's good. Place it right in the middle. One over here. 
one on that side. Turn it twice. And then, yeah, line them up. And place our last one down there. So we have six. Come down here on the end. Grab our metal pillars. Right there. Just zoop that up to about four. We can grab that metal frame. We can bring that all the way over. Uh-oh. See, so that's a problem. So let's do... That looks about like the middle there. Maybe. That does kind of look like the middle. So then we'll just bring this one over here. Okay, and then if I just do one more there and one more there, that's fine. We'll just connect them together right there in the middle. And that works pretty nicely for me. And again, I'm just going to take my painted beams, run them up to the top of this like so. Now, if I wanted to, I could put another power switch on this side and then have that uh, basically running the switch that would control all the oil going down that way. Because right now we have that power cable up there around our coal miners that is going that direction and up to our, uh, our oil. So if I wanted to, I could just bring that cable down through here, put a power switch right there. I'm not going to do that today. I may do it later, but... Uh, if you guys want to do that, you can. Uh, it's certainly a thing. Uh, and then we're just going to hook all the power up the same way here. Throw myself a ladder that's going up on top. Climb said ladder. And then, let's see. Let's go ahead and run from there up to right here in the middle. Run that to there. And I'm going to go ahead and place one of these down right here just in case we do do this later. So, uh, there we go. So, if we do decide to add a power switch onto this side, we already have our little outlet right here for that to make that easy. All right, and then let's connect these guys up. So, we're going to, again, start... Uh, it doesn't matter which side here, I think. So, let's just connect them down this way. Connect that battery to that battery, that battery to that battery... and so forth and so forth and this last one I'll take connect it up to right here and then run that up to that one on top right there there we go alright so now these power storage are now working as well so we have six of these that's 600 megawatts an hour that we can use power from if things start to drain more than we need. All right, guys, so I've been doing some math, and this is what I figured out. We can run six coal generators off of two water extractors because the most we can get into a pipe, at least a Mark I pipe right now, is 300 water. So we can make two of these run 300 up one pipe, and that's something we can do. But we can't do any more than 300, which means since each of these uses about 45 to 50 water per minute, we can, uh, you know, you divide that, say 300 by 50, and you are looking at about 6. So that's how I've done the math. Now, my plan was to add a, another water extractor per each side, but I don't think we're going to need it. Uh, I think that might be unnecessary. If we do, I will add it towards the end of the video here. But right now, I think we can work with just the three per side that we have. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add a couple more of the power generator here. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and take these foundations. We're going to expand these out to about two, I think. Now I think we're going to end up doing three. All right, so we'll have, we have seven per side right now. We need nine. So I'm going to take, we're going to put a couple co generators added on. Now each of these co-generators should be two past the other one. So right there looks good. And I'll bring the other one down here. So there's one, two. Right there. That should be alright. Do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to come out three. Just get our foundations correctly there. And then again, we'll come over here. Let's see. That looks correct. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. There we go. Alright, that's right. And that should be corrected there. All right, so that's a total of nine co-generators per side. The first six we can run. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first two water extractors will run these six. 
that gives us three on this side, three on this side. Yeah. yeah, I think that will work. But in order to make this work, we are going to have to redo almost every single one of our pipes. It's fine, not a big worry. So let me delete some of these stairs out of the way here and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one side at a time here. So let's do, uh, let's see. We wanna delete here and then we'll just bring this out to there. I'm gonna have to delete our steps going up here. Not a problem. Probably bring this out by two. There we go. And then we'll take this and that should work up two. That's just so I can get up and down right now. We'll take these out. And do I have anything else down here? No. All right, so let's take this last piece of foundation out. Let's grab one of these two meters and let's put that right here on the end like that. All right, and then something we've never used before is the pipeline floor. So I'm gonna take these floor holes here. I'm gonna put them right on the corner edges. So previously we had them this way. You can see that's lining up with it, but we're gonna make space to put a pipe down the middle. So what we're gonna do is something like this. We're gonna put one in the middle and then one on the edge over here like that. That works. Uh, let me just grab a pipe here and we'll bring this down. And I wanna make sure that we are on horizontal to vertical. So you can hit R to go do, through the different things such as auto 2D, noodle, horizontal to vertical. And if I bring that down to there, that works. Bring this next one down through here, right there. And then this last one, there we go. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we're just gonna delete all of the pipes that we have down through here now. So just remove all of these. We can sort of fix the power while we're here too. So let's remove that. And let me just kind of push this uh, right there. That'll work. And then I can connect that down to here. Actually, you know what? I can run that to the edge. To there. And at some point, I'm going to come back here and clean this up with our power cables at some point. I just don't know when that's going to be. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're fine right here. All right, so the first pipe we're going to work with is going to be our middle pipe. So let's go ahead and run this as far down through the middle as we possibly can. Uh, oh, it looks like it actually will go down to pretty close to where I need it. You know, that, yeah, that'll work just great. So we're bringing all the way down here past these. And then we're going to connect up our pipe. Let's go in. We'll grab our pipeline junction cross. We'll turn it so that it's facing where we need. Hold down control. Line that up, put that into that. Now our other side, I'm gonna do the same thing, but we're just going to kind of connect that into that. It's not gonna be straight, but that's fine. That works. All right, so now these two water extractors right here will be running six of these. So each of these needs to be posting about 150 in there. So we want to get some power shards in there. So let's throw that in there. Let's see, that's 180 per minute. We only need 150. So there we go. All right, that one's good. Head over to this one. One more power shard. And then turn that water into 150 meters per minute. There we go. All right, so now these two are gonna run, like I said, the last three on each side. They're gonna be putting 300 water through these pipes. Um, let's see, now I want to make sure that these are all connected with the last three up there. So let's get back to the top up here and we're gonna delete all of our pipelines works up here as well. Now you can't actually leave these right here that's coming off of each of our co-generators, but you will probably need to delete these sections right here at least for the first six, we can leave the last three. That actually will work fine for lining things up. All right, now we can just run our pipe down through here. So if I run that like that, connect that up there, and then I can just run this pipe all the way down as far as we can go down through here. And then continue it on. You wanna go at least past the last one. So something like right around there. 
That'll work. All right. Now, at our junction cross in here. Let's see. Right there it is. So it wants to connect kind of there. Uh, I don't want to connect it there. I want to connect it here. So I'm going to have to line this up by eye. That looks good. Connect that into that. One more pipe junction. Kind of line that up with the other one right here. There we go. Connect that in. And then just do this for the first three on each side. Connecting it to the middle pipe we just placed. All right, placing my last one now. There we go. Plug that into that. All right, that's my first six coal generators done. Now we're gonna do the other. So we can run, we have two coal generator or two water extractors down there. That'll pump 300 water up through here to handle the other six per side. All right, so we're going to now, let's grab some pipe, come down here to the end, do the same thing. We're gonna bring that up to like right there on that edge. And then we will connect that up and we'll go all the way down through here until we get to, uh, so let's see, right there should be about where, so I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit. I'm gonna bring it to I don't know, maybe there. Let's find the halfway point. Eh, right there looks good. All right. And then bring this up to, let's see. So right there looks to be about where that pipe is going to come in at. What I could do is just take this one and then just bring it over like that. Oh yeah, that works perfectly. So let's just do that. And then I can just connect these pipes up to each other like that. Yeah, that works. Let's do this on the other side too. So let's come over here. Grab that pipe. We'll bring that over. We'll turn it using my mouse. There we go. And then we can just connect this all the way down through here. Come down to this edge down here. It says that's too far, that's fine. I'll bring it down to, oh, I don't know, right in between here. And then we'll bring it down to there and connect that in. All right, so now the only thing left to do is we want to make sure that we have all these pipes connected up. All right, so since these two right here are new, Let's go ahead and grab a pipeline support. We will put that right in front of that, like that. We'll bring that up too. Grab our pipes and change that over to that. Noodle should work. Uh, horizontal to vertical should work. I don't know why it's not. That's very weird. All right, we'll just do noodle. Huh, weird. All right, do the same thing down here. Just bring this down, connect it right there in front of it, up two spots, and then connect into that all right and you can do the same thing on the other side connect these two up the same way don't forget we're also going to need to split the coal here as well so let's go ahead and grab these conveyor splitters place them that way make sure all your connections are in the right direction place another one down here right in front of that and then just connect up your mark three belts like so and do the same thing once again on this other side as well so we'll connect that up and we'll come down here and we'll connect that up there and connect our belts so with our coal connected next up is going to be the water so what I'm gonna do is hop on top of this pipe right here uh, it's a little tricky but I got it and let me see I'm gonna need a pipe junction so let's go into logistics and pipeline cross junction Kind of line it up, uh, just kind of eyeball it here. Because if you hit control, it doesn't want to line up right. So that's obviously not going to work. So I'm just going to have to do it just by feel. And that looks about right. And then let's connect that into that. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of these code generators down through here. So six running off of these two, six running off of the other two. And we've already got the last three connected. So once again, that is just grabbing a pipeline cross coming over here and just kind of lining it up and then connecting into that. So again, what I'm gonna do, get the rest of these down through here, 
And then I'm going to take care of the other side as well. And that should get the water in there. All right, on my last connection now, so just lining that up, grabbing the pipe, sticking the pipe into the slot. There we go. All right, and that is all of our co-generators connected to water and connected to co. Now we also had to connect the pipes down here because I don't have these actually connected to the water extractors just yet. So let's jump down here. And what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and just bring this pipe all the way down through here to this one right here. And if I come down to here, so that looks about right, right there. So I'll take that back about two. And I should just be able to connect that right into that. Yeah, that works. All right, and we'll do the same thing on the other side down here. So I'll just bring that, just connect it into there, bring it down, find the connection point. Looks about right there, back to and in. There we go. And then we're gonna come up here and I'm just gonna kinda jump on. Well, actually I might be able to do it from here. So let me grab, once again, our pipeline junction cross. And just kinda make it look about right. That looks good to me. And then connect that in there. There we go. Go to the other side. Same thing once again. Pipeline junction cross. That looks right. Grab the pipe and connect. And there we go. All right. So we'll make sure that all of our water extractors are connected to power and running. They are connected to the water so that they can pump the water up to our machines. But now we're going to need to make sure that these four are pumping 300 water up these lines. So these two need to equal 300 together. So if we go into this first one right here, I take a power shard right there, stick it into that, turn it up to one notch, that's 180. Now if we come down to this other one down here, you can see I've already got this one set at full power, 100%. I do not need to put a power shard in this one. At 120 meters per minute, at 100%, that is 120 plus the 180 from that, 180 plus 120 equals 300, which is all this pipe can handle. So until we get uh, better pipes, that's the best we're gonna be able to get. Do the same thing on the other side, set that one to one, let's see, 150, 150%. So one power shard in that one, no power shards in this one, 180, 120, and you got it. Last thing we don't wanna forget about is these two new co-generators aren't connected to the power grid. So let's come back here to the very back. Just going to grab a power pole, put it down right in the middle of these two and connect that to there and connect that to that and to this one there we go so those two are now connected we're going to go to the other side do the same thing put down our power pole connect to the main line and then connect eh, we'll connect this one to that line this one to this one there we go now these are all connected not 100% finished yet though, because we still need to make sure that we are sending enough coal down to all of those coal generators per side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here. I know if we do the math real quick, that we have nine per side and each of those is going to be using 15 coal. So we need 135 out of each of these. So what I'm gonna do, grab a power shard, throw it into this one and then we're going to just select down here and we're going to type in 135 so that's 112.5 percent and that will put enough out for one side and then we just got to do the other one over here so let's head over to this one same thing grab a power shard throw it in there and 112.5 percent there we go 135 per minute in co that should keep up just fine with our co-generators Looking at my power storage, we are almost full. Looks like that's just about 75%. Let me take a look here. Uh, 70%, so that's close. And we have six of these per side. That is 1,200 megawatts of power per hour right there. So if anything goes wrong, we have that much to spare until we can get things fixed up again. But let's go ahead, flip the switch because we've got this power coming up down here. So it's not going to our main factory just yet. But if we flip the switch, our main factory is operational again and back and running. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We now have a fully operational desktop, I mean, uh, power plant 
So everything is running at its most efficient that it has ever been so far on this. I'm really liking how things are coming together. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the side, just kind of fixing it up to my preference. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go over how I'm gonna do that. I might do a live stream where I do it, possibly just kind of fix the rest of this up and make it look stylish and nice and, and just, you know, more to my style. Uh, but you guys can do however you want to fix this up. If you want to take and put walls up and enclose all of this and make it look like a, a building you can do that what I'm personally going to do is how I did those frames right there going across I'm going to take and run those down this way as well and I'm going to connect my power up to those that way I can get rid of all of these power poles that are running down through here and make it just look a whole lot neater and uh, more if what's the word I'm looking for more cable managed yeah that's that's pretty much what I was thinking uh okay so next episode we are going to be working on putting together the manufacturing plant i think that's i think we've got everything kind of taken care of where we can actually work on that the next time uh sorry about this episode being before i know you guys were expecting the manufacturing plant but we had to make the power work before we started building that other words it was just going to be a constant problem so this is something we had to take care of now um, it also gives me a little bit of a chance to kind of figure out exactly what we're doing up there i have a plan I've, i think things are going to work out pretty good up there but i'm still kind of fin doing some finishing touches on how it's going to look and how everything is going to work and connect together so but in the meantime i got a video out for you guys uh, I'm not sure what the runtime on this is. Hopefully, it's a, a little shorter than what the videos usually are. That's kind of what I was going for, but I have a feeling it's not. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know how long the video is going to be. But I appreciate everybody who has watched all the way to the end, and I appreciate all my fans out there who have been watching this series. Thank you so much. If you're new to this series, you can always start checking it out from the very beginning. There should be a, uh, uh, a link at the end of the video here is so like you should be able to get to the playlist to be able to watch every episode so yeah if you're new to the channel check that out also check out my other builds um where i'm building in the forest and i need to get back to my forest uh, or my desert series as well i need to start working on that i just have so much going on and i apologize about how late every single one of these videos are i've been trying to get at least one video out a week but things just aren't working uh, but i'm trying i'm working on it and i appreciate your guys patience so until next time, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and I'll see you in the next video.